artfully called the BC Pain Society. Owner Chuck Varabios has something none of his competitors does, Canada's first marijuana vending machine. The machine pumps out bags of weed, ranging from a gram for six bucks to a half ounce for eighty dollars. So Chuck, what I want to know is how many times a day do you have to do this? Oh, four or five or six. I, I could use somebody full-time filling and maintaining it. Chuck already had a vending machine business, but after helping a friend dying of cancer get marijuana to treat his pain, he saw a need. And when the police announced they wouldn't bust dispensaries, he saw a business opportunity, and a great one. How much revenue is this thing generating? Let's put it this way, it's um, six figures since we've been open, but that, further than that, I'm not positive. But you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes. From this machine. Yes. In a matter of months. Yes. It's a members only machine. Patients need to be 18 or over and consult with a nurse or a notary to prove they have a medical need for marijuana. Okay, and if you guys want, we have more gumballs going in right now. What's in here is one gram of high quality marijuana for $4. Chuck, you've got a great business set up here. I can see that, but I don't want to spoil the party. It's illegal. Yes, according to the Criminal Code of Canada. Well, that's, that's, that's the law. Yeah, well, yes, we live in Vancouver. Vancouver City Police and the City Hall has allowed us to regulate our own business. Uh, Vancouver City Police have made it clear um, that this is not a priority to them. They came in, they looked around, uh, they gave us some safety pointers how to keep our staff and our customers safe, and they left happy. 